Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Bioshock Infinite. I'm your host, Callan Hale. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you had a good... Hopefully this episode we defeat Lady Comstock, because this, this has been rough. I think we're going to have to switch up strategies here. And uh, those strategies are going to be hopefully finding some more salts and switching up what we're using because we can't use murder of crows and lightning seems to be doing just a little bit but I'd like to be able to do more as always please make sure to grab your favorite beverage grab your favorite snack throw in those headphones and let's get back into the action uh, devil's kiss and I think that might be a good time. No. Devil's Kiss. Let's try out this shield. Okay, why isn't... Desperately need salts. Look here. Much obliged. Here. Oh. Did that did that actually work? What am I? Who's that? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? And the delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could that was tough. It truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all. Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Okay, I'm going back to my other setup. What steps? She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. First. 
I want to see what's in here. Medical kits. Okay. Where did the footprints go? Started going this way. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just I'm not so sure it was her. Find the three tears. I guess we're following her footsteps until we don't anymore? Is one of them in here? Perhaps. Pick up Voxophone. This is for the Miracle Child. Hello. I'm sorry your mother, Lady Comstock, is dead. I think she is altogether better than mine. Since you live there, can you tell me why the tower has been closed? People say it's poor weather, then the pox, then a haunting. If it is a secret, I promise not to tell a soul. Your pen friend, Constance. The footprints ended back here. Going this way, yep, going the right way. For the glory of Columbia! Look out, Patriot! My name is True. Dude, you guys were helping me at one point. Now you're trying to kill me. Great.
Where are they? There we go. Thank you. Where are you? I'm just gonna have to keep searching for you, I suppose. Well, that was very, uh, somewhat anticlimactic, I must say. I thought I saw a locked door over here. It's locked. Looks simple enough. Oh, I missed the, uh, the gun automaton. Another box of fun. In front of all the men. Sergeant looked at me and said, Your family tree shelters a TP or two, doesn't it, son? This lie! This calumny, it followed me all my life. From that day, no man truly called me comrade. It was only when I burnt the teepees with the squaws inside that they take me as one of their own. Only blood can redeem blood. Elizabeth. Okay. Let's see. Take your time. I'm fine down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. That seemed like a pointless exercise. I guess that was for taking out uh, those guys. First, I'm going to explore this area. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, eight eagles ain't much, but it's something. Okay, we're gonna open the tear. But you two are dead. I took your funeral photo. Yes, and made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. It's come across so lifelessly. Vox of What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost. Feral. It's like she's a reflection of. Oh. Um, I don't know. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. So that's our first clue. What a waste. How's the city going to come back from this? Maybe it shouldn't. 
Sniper Booker. Where? Go ahead. Sure thing. Do it. Done. Come on. I'm not really sure how that's cover. Is it downstairs? I think we might be close to the Vox Populi area. Why'd they kill her, I wonder? She probably did nothing wrong. I was hoping this would have been the uh, secret hideout of the Vox. Wow, these episodes are going very quickly. Elizabeth. Sure thing. Got it. Okay, danger music. Like in the Silver Catch. Eagles. Catch. Okay, that was a decoy tear. Hmm. Sniper rifle. Hey, I believe that is where we are going to call this episode for today, folks. Search the mailboxes quick. Call it for the day. Hold on to this. If you Catch did enjoy the this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And have a great weekend, everyone. I will see you all on Monday for another new episode of Bioshock Infinite. 
As always, please make sure to hydrate, medicate if you have to, eat some good food, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and don't let your dreams just be dreams this year. Make those dreams a reality. Until next time, this is Callan Hale, Elizabeth, 